questions in later watch after the fact what we're doing here I am starting a universe mode on 2k20 um, and yeah I guess that's it <laughs> um, I'm not getting rid of my 2k19 ruthless aggressionary universe mode at least not yet um, I just want to try out to the universe mode 2k20 I'm definitely not switching to 2k um, I'm definitely not switching to 2k20 for my ruthless aggression um, at, at least not for right now I just it's not that great but uh, we're just gonna try and set everything up right now see how we want to start this um, hmm. what show should we go I kind of want to I want to do one show so we can keep it as generalized as possible as possible and uh, keep the rosters a little bit smaller at least for now Let's kind of work from there uh, kind of want to do Smackdown, but I'd like to have a. I don't know what kind of arenas I got for it. And I kind of want the um, the viewers to. Uh, what the hell am I trying to say? I kind of want the viewers to kind of have a say in what we do. Um, like which superstars should go against each other in a feud, that sort of thing. Um, I think that would be kind of a fun way to go about it. Uh, whew. yeah, these arenas don't work. <laughs> of course, they don't work, so we're not gonna go with that. Uh, whew. I'm kind of thinking the 13 14 Raw. I kind of like that one. Maybe not Raw 90. Maybe we should do a Attitude Era universe mode. Maybe that's a better way to go. What do you think? Attitude Era? try see if or at least do attitude attitude era show but still have modern superstars if we can dude this game takes forever I'm trying to give 2k20 a chance I haven't really given it much of one but I, I don't know if I can really I don't know if I can really handle it <laughs> I don't know if I can handle it because it's just been absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I don't have commentary turned on, so that doesn't matter. This arena. It should be fun, though. Just going to kind of play through it, see what it's like, see if it's any better than um, 2K19. I highly doubt it, but it's worth it. Sure. Go through, get everything set up at the moment. <laughs> Screen filter. Ooh, maybe do the late nineties filter, make it a little interesting. Go eight bit, eight bit universe mode. There we go. That'd be pretty cool. Bad VHS. That's two K twenty common problem. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. I kind of like the 8 bit idea. I'll keep it off for now. World class referee. Interesting. Zombie wasteland referee? When did these come into play? <laughs> I've never seen these before. Oh, it's because of the um, whatever it's called, the thing I haven't played. Or I tried playing and the game crashed, so I said, screw it. So we got the old school arena. Participants who actually let's switch the champions if we can. Cause I definitely don't want the universal title. I kind of want the world heavyweight championship. I also kind of like the WWE title 13 to 14. I don't know what it is about that championship, but I actually kind of like it. Hmm. <laughs> Or we could get the classic 98 to 02. Undisputed title, that'd be a good one. I think I want to go with the World Heavyweight title. Not the WCW. There we go. Oh, we have to put it on someone. Okay, never mind. We'll 
just wait on that then, I guess. I don't... That's dumb. Remove champ... I do want to remove champions because I want to start all over here. Uh, yeah, the women's title. will have a tag title. Don't want the United States title, but we'll keep that in there for now. Okay, that's good. Participants. Let's see who should we should put in here. Um, I'm gonna deselect everyone. Don't want to have too many superstars in here. I don't want it to get oversaturated. I got like six versions of Chris Jericho in here because <laughs> I was trying to set it, I was trying to get decent cause just in case I did switch to 2k20 for my ruthless aggression universe mode and I didn't so or at least I haven't yet I don't know if I will for those stopping by thank you um we're playing universe mode 2k20 this isn't the discontinuation of my ruthless aggressionary universe mode I'm just looking to do a playthrough Try and get you guys involved and get you guys interested in and playing some universe. And you guys can help me book the shows, that sort of thing. Or you can help me book feuds. Pick which superstars are going to be on the show. We're just having one show for right now. Just trying to deselect all the superstars so we can figure out who to add into it. And if you have any ideas, let me know. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it as little I'm, I'm trying not to have a bunch of people at least off the get-go then we'll see where it kind of takes us I probably should have prepared. <laughs> I think we're almost done, though. All right, if you guys have any ideas of who you would like me to add into the universe mode, let me know. And let me know what titles you'd want to see. Let's see. I'm trying to think of who I'd want. Scott Steiner, Rusev, Roman Reigns, The Rock, Robert Roode, if he had the beard I might be interested, <laughs> that mustache looks strange in my man, oh shit, up just kind of go through the list see what people would be would seem interesting I think it probably Alistair Black is a definite for me um, AJ yeah AJ Adam Cole I think would be good uh, Booker T, maybe? Brock Lesnar. Buddy Murphy. Cesaro would be good. I think Cesaro, I'll add in there. Um, if you guys you start getting prepared for the switch to 2K20. Like I said, 2K20 became 2K20. I realized what game I was playing, so I backed off it. Eddie Guerrero, I think it would be a good one. Goldberg. Eh, I don't know about Goldberg. Okay. Who do you guys think I should add in here? Maybe have the Hardy Boys so we can have them in a tag team. That'd be good. Like the Usos, I think, would be good. 
John Cena didn't have a hair, I'd add him because he's kind of my boy. But he has a hair, so I'm not going to worry about it. Are you stopping the other universe? No, I'm not stopping the other universe mode. Um, this is actually just to, to do something on 2K20 because I realize I'm not doing anything on 2K20. Um, so no, I'm not stopping the universe mode. I'm just doing something else. <laughs> and this is just going to be a live stream series. I'm not going to do it any other way. Um, so I kind of want your guys' input on what we should have in this universe mode. Um, so for su superstars, for instance, if you have any ideas of who you'd like me to add in here, let me know. I'm just kind of going through the list now. It's a lot of superstars on this roster. I haven't really used Pete Dunn. We're definitely adding our truth because he's the boy. That's not Randy Savage. I don't know who that is. Adam Cole. Adam Cole. Okay, I got Adam Cole in here. So we're good with him. Um... <laughs> Should we add Ruby? Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Did I add Keith Lee in there? I think I... Okay, I got Keith Lee, so we're good with him. The Rock. Shelton Benjamin would be a good... Highly underrated, in my opinion. He's one of the more talented people on the roster that don't get used at all properly. Kind of want to use Shelton. Um, should we do Undertaker? And if so, which version? So right now we have Adam Cole, AJ Styles, Al Biker Al Taker. Biker Taker. Eh, sounds good to me. I like Biker Taker. I don't mind that. So, so far we got Adam Cole, AJ Styles, Alistair Black. Um, where the hell is everyone else? Cesaro. Drew McIntyre, Eddie Guerrero, The Fiend. The Fiend, you want to see The Fiend? Okay. So we got The Fiend too. Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy, The Usos cuz we're going we need some tag teams, so shout out some tag teams. Not like I said, we're we're going to keep it limited, but uh definitely some tag teams. Maybe do Brothers of Destruction with Kane and The Undertaker. That'd be cool. Got Kevin Owens, Keith Lee, Kurt Angle. DX. DX. Which version of Triple H? Got R Truth in there. Old school. Old school? Okay. I got the Road Dog and uh, Billy Gunn in this game, too, and I also got Rob Van Dam. So I could add them in there too if you wanted. Oh, Triple H01. Gotta go back up to Sean though. Sean Michaels 97. Got Biker Taker. So for tag team so far, we got. We'll do the Brothers of Destruction, Kane and the Undertaker. Uh, we got D Generation X, Triple H, and Sean Michaels. Uh, we got the Usos and then Matt and Jeff Hardy. So, Brothers of Destruction, the Usos, the Hardys, and DX. So we got four teams. I think, I think four teams would be good. We could do a little tournament to start off to determine the champs. And do the Rock and Sock connection. <laughs> Who else should we add in here? Because what are we sitting at? We're sitting at 21 guys now. So I think... Uh, 21 might be good for... For the superstars. Who should we have in the women's division, though? There is the question. 
I feel like Trish, Stratus, and Lee are kind of a given, but that's up to you guys. Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley, the former NXT Women's Champion, unfortunately. Okay, got Rhea Ripley in there. You get Riley Flash in there. <laughs> no, we're not. Definitely not adding Rhea Ripley. I need to stop focusing on the, the men. Got to get some women in here. Mia Yim's a new one. Maybe we can add her. Who's a new in this game? Rhea Ripley, Mia Yim. Josie Jane. She's from my career. Io Shirai. Could add her. She's not. She's a new one. One I haven't actually played as either. Add China in here. Io Shirai, Carrie Sane, and Maya Lim. Should add them in here. Carrie Sane. Me and Yam. Io Shirai. few more here. Ember Moon, no. She's got a cool finisher though. Hmm. Buddy Murphy would be kind of cool. Oh, I got the Dudley Boys too. I could have the Dudley Boys. Forgot about them. Bianca Belair with her hair glitch. Maybe we should add Bianca. Yeah, let's add Bianca. I don't mind Bianca. Um, Gonna add Trish and Lita just because. Let's add Tony Storm. She's new. Ooh, Tommaso Ciampa. I want him in here. I want Shelton as well. <laughs> just add everybody. Screw it. Gonna have the full roster in here. Let's add RVD. Gargano. Gargano. Uh. Johnny Gargano. Is he fun to play as? Oh, I know who I was looking for. And I'm going way back the other way. Is Johnny fun to play as? I haven't actually played as him. Oh, I thought what I had a game. Finn? What about Finn Balor? Yeah, sure, we can add Finn. All right, what are we sitting at? We're sitting yes. at thir we're sitting at thirty six, so I think we're good for right now. Um, let's figure out what divisions we want. Huh? I do I do not have Lince Dorado in here. I'm definitely not. What about titles? The titles. That's the other question. Um. Do you want me to have them all blank and then we can figure that out at the pay-per-view? Or do you want me to just crown champions now? Because it won't let me change the title without putting it on somebody. So that's kind of up to you guys. We can either crown champions now or we can keep it vacant and figure out the champs at the pay-per-view. Because I'm probably going to try and play through the first month in this video. So it'll be kind of a long one. That's kind of how we're, I'm going to try and base this. It's just month to month. So what do you think? What do you guys think I should do? I know for the, I think for the heavyweight title, I want to go with the world heavyweight title. Vacant. Keep it vacant. Okay. 
I was either deciding the World Heavyweight title, um, the 98-02 to WWE title, or the 13-14. And hopefully tournament. Do a tournament. I believe the first pay-per-view is also Money in the Bank, so we'll actually have the Money in the Bank, too. Um, if I head down here. Dude, this game takes forever. Yeah, the first pay-per-view is Money in the Bank, so we'll have we'll have three weeks and then the Money in the Bank pay-per-view to figure out who... I probably should get something to write on, actually, so I can write down everything. And then let's actually do the teams up real quick. Delete the teams that we're not using. Bar's not going to be in this. Bellet's ones aren't going to be in this. No. No. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of teams. Cut the Hardy Boys. Perfect. Get rid of these guys. DIY. DIY. Oh, I do have Tommaso Ciampa and... Um, whatever the hell his name is, Gar Gargano. I don't know why it took me so long to think of Johnny Gargano. Yeah, I actually don't mind doing uh, DIY. That doesn't matter because I don't have announcers turned on. Johnny Gargano. Oh, there he is, Tommaso Ciampa. All right, so those just, so I don't have to create entrances. It's actually not a bad tag team to have. Uh, we got the Brothers of Destruction. We got Kane and the Undertaker. Put them in a tag team. This game is so bad, hopefully it doesn't he crash. MOG happy tears. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Um... Taking a risk on it, to be honest with you. Taking a big risk on it. I mean, that's the biggest reason. See, I've talked to people. Um, so, because I was thinking about switching my universe mode to 2K20, I talked to other people that are doing universe mode 2K20, like uh, Murph's YT13. Uh, shots out to him. He's actually a big reason why I do my universe mode. Um, and does NSK2. Um, but he told me that I mean he doesn't have any issues with universe mode in terms of its cr in terms of it crashing. So I don't I don't know why it's such a problem. But it's still one of those things where do you really want to take the chance? I know I have had it crash on me a few times. I was trying to make an uh for Rey Mysterio and it crashed on me. You really can't even change an attire. Want to edit my superstars, but I don't want the game to break. It's a very fragile game. Alright, who else? Degeneration X, I need Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Do you have any ideas for like new tag teams at all? That are like superstars that are on the roster? Because I, I don't want to add anyone else in here. They'll be heels for now. So we got the Brothers of Destruction, we got DIY, we got the Hardy Boys, uh, D-Generation -Gener X. Um, I didn't add either of those two teams in here, but we do have... Okay, let me get rid of these, actually. We got the Usos, the Hardy Boys, DIY, D-Generation -Gener X, and the Brothers of Destruction. Is there any that I'm missing? Because I really can't remember... <laughs> I don't think I'm missing any teams, so I think we're actually good there. So we got we got five tag teams, so we can actually start off by running a tournament with them. Do you like? Yes, I do not want that shit going away. Okay. Um. Okay, so you guys said you want to determine the champs at the Money Bank pay-per-view. 
Let me actually real quick go grab something to write on so I know what I'm planning here. Give me one second. Hardcore Championship. I'm back. Let me. I'm gonna go in and actually write all the uh, guys in here. Just so you guys know, I actually have a. Uh, I actually have a full blown notebook that's almost completely filled out with my universe mode from 2K18 and 2K. Just so you guys know how much thought and process processing I actually do put into that. It's pretty crazy, actually. I never thought I'd be doing that. Oh, I don't want to do it that way. There's a quick way of doing this. There we go. All right. So we got Adam Cole, AJ Styles, Alistair. If you guys have any ideas for like a, oh, another thing, should we have feuds start up, or should we just wait on that until the second month in? Because the first month we're going to be, def we had, we got to figure out all the champs. So I guess maybe we should wait for the feuds. McIntyre, Guerrero, Duffy, Balor. The women's side we got Io Shirai. Never, her character does not look that great in this game, but it is what it is. Jeff Hardy. Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso. Oh, is the audio good, by the way? Can you guys let me know down? Hardcore title or 247 where it defended every stream. That's actually not a bad idea. Just def defended once a week. Is this your first video in Make a Kefla versus Draw? Is this my what? Let me actually load up the stream so I know what I'm talking about. Give me a second here. I didn't. I missed that question. All right. Gargano. Sing. I do not have Kalisto on here. He can get the whole fuck out of here. That didn't happen. Kalisto's not my dude. My YouTube has been annoying me all day on my phone. We got Kane. Oh, man, we got a lot of guys in here. Keith Lee. Keith Lee is, like, on another level. When is Taboo Tuesday PT2? Tab Maya Yun versus Sash Banks. Um, Taboo Tuesday Part 2. I believe the plan is to upload that one tomorrow. I was, the plan was if the video got 20 likes, I was actually going to upload it today. I did not add Lacey Evans in there. Alright, I got Lita. Yeah, but the, I plan on uploading part two of Tab Tuesday tomorrow. Trying to get on an actual schedule for it, at least for now. Now that I have my uh, Until Dawn series going, going on. If you guys actually have never played, never watched Until Dawn, 
um, you should definitely check that out. It's a really fun series, and it gets pretty crazy there. I uploaded, I just recorded three the next three episodes today, so let's do it really quickly here. My chat still isn't loading. It's gonna piss me off. We got Ricochet. I don't, I don't remember adding him, but I guess I did. RVD. Michaels. We got a lot of guys on here. Benjamin. Champa. Storm. Thank you guys for stopping by, by the way. Really appreciate that. Stratus. In playing WW Lib. Taker. All right, so we got everything. I still can't get my chat to load. It's kind of going to upset me here. Slurred B, Brothers of Destruction, DX, D, A, uh, Y, Hardys, Usos. Let's see here. Okay. I'll put her over on the wrong side. All right, perfect. I think we got it figured out. All right. Let me get some music going again so I can stay into it. All right, so we have Adam Cole, AJ Styles, Alistair Black, Cesaro, Drew McIntyre, Eddie Guerrero, Tommaso Ciampa, Triple H, The Undertaker, The Fiend, Finn Balor, Jeff Hardy, The Usos, Johnny Gargano, Kane, Keith Lee, Owens, uh, Kevin Owens, Kurt Angle, Matt Hardy, R-Truth, Ricochet, RVD, Mike, Shawn Michaels, and Shelton Benjamin. And for the women's division, we have Io Shirai, Kyrie Sane, Lita, Mia Yim, Rhea Ripley, Tony Storm, Trish Stratus, Bianca Belair. And for tag teams, we have Brothers of Destruction, Degeneration X, DIY, Hardy Boys, and the Usos. Can we make a universe mode? Hold on a second. Is everything still good? Am I, am I still broadcasting? <laughs> Did it cut? Are, are we still good? I just said that something wasn't good enough to be broadcasting. I don't know what happened there. I'm trying to get this to load my chat so I can see it. See what's getting said here. But it's not working. What is wrong with my Wi-Fi today? <sighs> Alright, so I think we got everything else figured out. Um, so for, th for the titles... Which title should we use? Let's get that out the way, too. Um, so I said I wanted to use either the World Heavyweight title, uh, the teen WWE title, or the 1998 WWE title. Which one do you guys think we should use for the main title? Nine eight. World title. Okay, I got one person that says 98, the other one says world title. Okay, so we're down to... Or heavyweight. Okay, so we'll use the um, world heavyweight title. Uh, let's see, so we got the world heavyweight title. I'm just writing everything down. So, the men's... T should we just have the hardcore title, or should we have the hardcore title and another title? And if so, what should that be? I'm kind of thinking the Intercontinental title. Um, I don't know why I always refer back to that. But I'm thinking either the 98 to 2011 or the 94 Intercontinental title. What do you guys think? What do you guys prefer? Aniku. The what? 
I missed. I have no idea what you just said. I would read it in the chat, but my chat isn't loading. So I'm kind of run to that situation there. 98 Intercontinental. 98 IC. Okay. 94. 94. Hardcore plus 92 Intercontinental Championship. Okay, so we're, we're definitely having the Hardcore title and the IC title. We just have to figure out which Intercontinental title we, to use. Okay. And the tag titles, I think for that, I want to Nine use... Nine for my bad. I think for the... For the tag titles, let's switch it over here. I think I want to use the... Yeah, I either want to use the 02 to 10 or the 97 to 02 world tag title. Which one should we use? 2010 or 97? Nine seven, Nine zero seven. two one zero. People going back and forth here. O oh, two. O oh, two to one zero have always been my fobs. Uh, same here. That's hey, my um. The two thousand two was up. I, I ended up switching afterwards. Uh, then the women's title, I'm just gonna use the ninety eight women's title because that's the one I always refer back to as well. And then we're gonna have the hardcore title. We will actually nine seven please. Nine seven. Okay. All right. So then, well, hardcore title. Oh, okay, so we have to. We're gonna. So what we'll do in the first week, we'll actually have a match for the hardcore championship. I think that's the best way to go about doing that. Uh, let's edit rankings here. Let's just start with the tag team. No, how do I? Edit? Okay, edit division. That's what I'm trying to do. So for tag for the tag division, we're gonna add the Hardy Boys in there. DIY and then DX. Okay, perfect. Dude, the tag team division stacked. <laughs> it's a great tag team division. All right. Um, the world title. Who should we have in the world title picture? I believe the fiend is kind of a given. Kurt Angle. Alistair Black. Adam Cole. So that what that puts us at one, two, three, four, five. Edge versus Undertaker. Edge versus Undertaker for what? Rob Van Dam, Shelton Benjamin. Uh, yeah, Keith Lee in there. Shelton, Eddie, Kevin, Eddie for the world title, sounds good to me, and just add all these, is it going to save? WW Japan. So we got so Eddie will add Eddie into the world title. We'll add let's try and keep this split up a little bit. Finn Balor to the U to the and what's gonna be the Intercontinental Elimination title. Chamber for hardcore title. Dude, that would be a crazy way to kick off. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't mind that. And then so currently the hardcore title will probably have R Truth Ricochet and Robin Dam. I know it doesn't really I don't think divisions really matter all that much, but that's kind of what we're gonna do for that. Um so we said we're gonna have a tournament for the 
Um, said we'll have a tournament. What the hell am I trying to say? For the tag titles. And let's actually do this title match on. Who should be in the hardcore championship match? My Rob friend Adam Phoenix 6190 is at 997 on stat 1K. USA John versus Kansas. Rob Van Dam. Alright, so we'll have Rob Van Dam's definitely going into this. Uh, we're going to have R Truth in here too. And then who else do you guys think should be fighting for the hardcore title in an elimination chamber match on Monday Night Raw? That's gonna hi that's gonna be the main event of the evening. Edge. I don't think I have Edge on here. Risen. Risen. Black. Rusev. Alistair Black. We're going with superstars that are currently on the roster. Um, Because I'm trying to keep it. We're sitting at like 36 superstars at the point. So, I mean, we can over time, but right now we're just going to stick to those people. Um, And right now, Edge and Rusev aren't on the roster. Who else is on the roster? We got Finn Balor. Uh, we got The Fiend. Jeff Hardy. Uh, Owens would be a good one. Benjamin, uh, Shelton Benjamin. Cesaro. Adam Cole. Tommaso Ciampa. Johnny Gargano. Kane. Jeff. Okay. We have Fiend. some good ones. Jeff Hardy. The Fiend. Kane. And can't okay. Sounds like a pretty stacked freaking elimination chamber match. Ooh, I have two ad tires for can his original one, and then I have the one that I'm gonna that I was gonna use for my universe mode. Which one should I use? I think this one's a better one, but that's not my choice. Cheers. It's a viewer's choice. We'll use this one. Nine eight. Perfect. That's what I wanted to use. Uh, championship. Old. Hardcore title. Where is this sucker? Where is it at, though? Oh, there it is. Hardcore title. Hell yeah. Alright, so that's going to be our main event. Now we're going to need a tag team tournament match and we can't double book so hopefully we still got some teams left so we can do we can do a really short you tournament. should do an F universe a what universe So what should we do for the tournament? First round of the tournament. AEW. I don't really know anything about AEW, honestly. I haven't really... I mean, it sounds terrible, but I haven't really paid attention to it all that much. So I so I, I don't really know... Have, like, I don't know half the roster that's there. Except for the guys that came uh. from WWE. So what we'll do... We'll do the first round of the um, tag team tournament. We'll do DX versus the... Because they're they don't have a match, so we can actually do, do them. You're really a terrible person. I'm a really terrible person. Why is that? Because I didn't watch. Because I don't have cable to watch AEW. I mean, I keep tabs on it. I hear it's doing really good. I know. I know some of the people. I just I don't know all of them. Is what I'm really trying to say. We'll do Triple H. I thought you were the five greatest rappers of all time. What's up, Ron? Dude, I haven't had... I don't have cable at my house, so I, I just watch Netflix. I don't watch... I don't watch AEW. That's my bad. 
Brothers of Destruction, Kane's in a match. So we can either do DX versus DIY or DX versus the Usos. Which one should we do? DIY versus DX. Edge style. What up, dog? You know I am busting your chops. Yeah, I know. Miss you, man. It's been a while. All right. All right, so we got that. We got two matches that we'll be playing through on the card for this one. Uh, should we? Should this be Ricochet and Rod Van Dam? Should that be maybe a Money in the Bank qualifier? Because we got the Money in the Bank up in three weeks. Yeah, we have three Raws and then the Money in the Bank, so maybe we could put those superstars in there. Gotta have to change that one so he's not double booked. Ben Jammin versus KO. That could also be possibly Money in the Bank qualifier. Yes. Yes. So let's delete this one then. Alright, so... Got the Illumination Chamber match for the Hardcore title. We got DX and DIY. Let's see. We got Money in the Bank Qualifier. Money in the Bank Qualifier. Oh, Rob Van Dam's in a match tonight. Son of a bitch. Best match participants. Edge versus Cole Mid Qualifier. Oh, I just... Okay, so we got Van Dam Black. Dude, we're going to have to change a lot of these cards. God damn it. Eddie Guerrero and Balor, we can do that one, right? Yes. We do Eddie Guerrero and Balor, so that one's good. Kyrie Sane versus Asuka, okay. Mia Yen versus Lita, that wouldn't be bad. Cole, ha or Alistair Black has a match, so we can't do Alistair Black in. Styles versus Cole mid qualifier. Styles versus Cole. Money in the Bank qualifier, that sounds good to me. Adam Cole, whoops, AJ Styles, it's going to be hard to remember all these, That's, oh, luckily I have a sheet to write on, Benjamin and KO, got to change it, Ricochet's opponent though, who should Ricochet face? Roman versus Drew. I do not have Roman in this universe mode. Yeah, no. No, I don't have Roman in this universe mode. Ricochet versus Keith Lee. That'd be a good match. Eddie. Eddie works too. Wait, does Eddie have a match? A match? I hate universe mode. <laughs> I, hate, I hate trying to book universe mode. Yep, Eddie's going against Balor. Son of a bitch. So Ricochet versus Eddie or Eddie versus Finn. I don't think we're going to play through all of them. But which one should we play through? So do you want to see Ricochet going against Eddie or Ricochet go or Eddie go against Finn? And the other one will just delete and be done with it. Because you can actually do that in this game. That's one. That's one thing that Eddie 2K20, versus Finn. That's one thing that Two K Twenty actually got right. You can actually Ricochet. Delete. Duoc. Yeah. Can actually um. Delete stuff, delete matches and promos. Okay, so so far this is the what we got for the match card. We got Eddie versus Balor. That can be possibly Money in the Bank qualifier. See, kind of see where it takes us. Because we're going to have to have a world title match still. Uh, we got Kyrie Sane versus Trish. We got Mia Yim versus Lita. We got AJ Styles versus Adam Cole. Shelton versus KO. DX versus DIY. And then the Hardcore Championship Elimination Chamber match. That looks good. Is it going to say? You good? Perfect. Didn't crash. That's what I like to see. Oh, let me actually turn off some stuff here too. Um, Drew versus Undertaker. Oh, 
Oh, Taker does not have a match. It's actually not a bad idea. We should do Drew versus Take. Uh, Cause I I got the thing is though with Taker and Kane both really is that they're they're in the tag team division. And we'll figure it out. We still got two other weeks to book, so we'll figure it out. I think we're good for this. I think this is a really good match card. All right. So which matches should we play through? We definitely have to play through the last two. Then the other ones are kind of up to you guys. Should we, should we do Eddie and Finn? Drew versus Taker good for next week. Yeah, we can do that next week. Maya Y. Mia Yim versus Lita. Cole Styles. Yup. Yeah, Mia Yim, Cole Styles. Okay, so I, I think I'm good with doing four of the matches. So, Sim, Eddie, and Finn Balor. So this can be, I don't know. We can. I'll write down the matches here that we have written, that we have set up. So we got Eddie versus Finn. Should this be a Money in the Bank qualifier or no? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. M I T D. All right. We got Yim versus Lita. And maybe this match Kyrie Sane versus Trish and Mia Yim versus Lita, whoever wins the match, um those two will fight each other at the pay-per-view for the women's title. I think that sounds like a good idea. Cole versus Styles, and that is a Money in the Bank. Number one contender. Next week, do find versus Jeff. And what for what context? Just to have a match or title shot? Because don't forget, Jeff and Matt are in the tag team tournament too. Benjamin versus Owens. Money in the bank. DX versus DIY. Checking out, bro. Good to see you. Take care, you of yourself. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Don't know who said it, but I appreciate you. I can't read the chat. Hardy S versus Bro S or Destruction next week. That's a good idea. Burglar match. DX versus DIY. That's tag tournament. And then hardcore. It S was wrong. Hardcore Elimination Chamber. All right. So Eddie versus Finn Balor. We're going to simulate here uh, to see who is going to the Money in the Bank match in just three weeks' time. Randomize the winner. Eddie Guerrero got the victory over Finn Balor. Okay. All right. I see you. Okay. Uh, Kyrie Sane versus Trish Stratus. Winner goes to Money in the Bank to fight for the women's title. Trish Stratus got the win on that one. Now, should we play the Mia Yim versus Lita match? Was that the plan for this one? I can't remember. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I, I do so much better when I'm just, you know, sitting at home planning my stuff out by myself. Why isn't my chat loading? This is going to upset me. Whatever. 
So we were playing Mia Yim versus Lita, right? Was that the thing, or were we sim simming that one too? Does he want me to play Cole and Styles, the tag match, and then Rob the versus Drew? Match? You're doing good. Just keep it up, bro. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so are we playing the Mia Yim and Lita match? I can't remember. Winner goes to fight for the women's title against Trish Stratus. I think that's one we were playing. Should we si should we simulate should we like watch all the matches or should I I kind of want to play the game. So I'm not sure if I should sim or not. Sure. What is up, man? MOG victory hand with medium skin tone. Who should we play as? Should we play as Rob Mia versus Kevin? Should we play as Mia Yim or Lita? Mia this Yim. one CPU versus CPU. CPU or CPU? Okay. I'm okay with that. Lol, the description of the MOG. Yeah, I had. I mean, I I literally had to. <laughs> I I wanted to make sure that everyone knew that I was not Maya. discontinuing the universe mode. Oh, look at straight out the gate here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Mia Yim got her on the racks. Who do you want to win? I'm kind of at a toss up right now. I kind of want to see Trish and Lita again, but I also see it all the time in my universe mode, so I'm I'm okay with seeing Mia Yim. It'd be cool to see Mia Yim versus Trish. Trish and Lita, I don't I don't know if I'll ever get tired of seeing that match. It's always good, so. That's why they've been feuding almost my entire universe mode. Except for now, I have Gil Kim in there as the women's champ. Oh, look at that. Mia Yim has her up. Big suplex. Perfect. Way to back up to her feet. Gets dropped down to her face. I don't know what my universe mode be. NXT and JPW ADW Ek. Maya Yun for the win. MOG cool smile. Yeah, I am for the win. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be upset with her winning the match. Her character doesn't look too bad though. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, have you seen Rand Randy Savage in this game? <laughs> you see Randy Savage, you can't really expect a whole lot. Uh, Ribby has a better character than Randy Savage. You can really see which ones they actually put the work into. Because Roman Reigns still looks good. Tommaso Ciampa still looks good. Wait, you just got 2K20? No, I've had 2K20. Can you put yourself in universe mode? Can I put myself in the mat? In the match, you mean? No, I've I've had 2K20. I just didn't play it because it sucks. But I'm giving it a shot. Seth looks terrible. Does he? I'm not surprised. <laughs> Should I put myself in this match or just let it play out? I mean, it's doing pretty good so far. Yeah, Yam hit her with the eight defeat. And for the cover for the win. Oh, damn, it does suck when you make a custom arena the ring steps flash. Do they really? He has cassette tape hair. Emoji happy tears. Emoji happy tears. I know that, um... So that's a bit... That's another reason why I'm not doing 2K20 Universe Mode in... Alright, uh, that's another reason why I'm not carrying over my Ruthless Aggressionary Universe Mode. Oh, Twist the Fate on the outside! Lita going crazy here. Um, it's because I tried downloading the aru arenas for Ruthless Aggression and none of them worked so I that was where, that's honestly where it started with me
because I was honestly all set to give him a chance. That's why I have so many custom characters in this game. Like that RV. I just enjoy this game because of the new moves. They do have a pretty cool move set though. And the thing is, I don't mind playing the game. It's just you can't do anything. Like I, when it comes to custom superstars, I've even tried editing them them myself, and I still couldn't do it. Oh wait a minute, Lita is going crazy here. DDT on the apron. She's going wild. Um, like when it comes to custom logos, you can't do anything. So, and most of my universe mode has to do with custom stuff. So I have to use it, which is a big reason why I'm not switching to 2K20. Else, I probably would have. I'm just hoping that they get it right next time, or they just stop the series all in general. It definitely felt like a waste of money at first. Yeah, Yim's got to finish her. Lita needs to get on the get her going. I wish here. the 2K19 servers wouldn't be shut down, but it will on May 3 1 ST. Add some more modern people to ruthless aggression universe. It's getting shut down in May. Well. I'm fucked. <laughs> if that's the case, I'm screwed. I'm, I'm just lucky to ha already have a lot of the characters I plan on adding in there. The thing, the the goal for me is to get to WrestleMania in 2K19, which I'm almost there. I just finished up No Way Out, and I'm on the last month of setting up the video. So I'm almost to WrestleMania, and then from there, WrestleMania was kind of my goal for the universe mode. So I don't know if I'm going to continue it or if I'm going to start something new. I haven't come to that conclusion yet. I, I'm really just not sure at this point. Oh, Mia Yim's looking to steal the victory here and for the cover. Ooh. Not even a two count there. Lita's in big trouble here. Do you play up? Do I play up? I don't know what that is. What's Mia Yim doing? Oh, she got kicked right in the face. Okay. Dude, this match is... UFC. I bought UFC 3 and played through it, and I was going to record it. Put in Sammy and his crew. Um, I, I did buy UFC 3, and I played the career mode, but... The plan was to do a series on it, but I just not decided not to. I did play UFC 3, though. It was a fun game. Mia yeah, Yam, eat the feet again! You and should cover. do one. Mia yeah, Yam, oh my god, dude. These two are going wild. Mia yeah, Yam's got to put her away. One thing I do wish they didn't change with this game is the control. The controls. I hate. I absolutely hate the triangle to reverse. I don't know how to use half the controls anymore. So this is going to be a problem. Oh, Mia Yim's got the Bree mode in her. Mia Yim's starting to get fired up here. Oh, Mia Yim. Oh, nice. Did that put Lita away here? She's got that resiliency. She's going to use it. She doesn't use it. Mia Yim is going to money in the I bank. Think and I she will do an NXT face. universe mode with other talents from other companies as well. I don't Can see you problem. put Sammy and his crew? Put Sammy and his crew in Mia this Yim. Mia Yim got the victory. She's going to face Trish Stratus. Look at the sportsmanship. So my universe, my rosters are kind of set at the moment. Um, I want to at least get through the first month before I start adding uh, a bunch more people in, just because we're already sitting at 36 people now. I mean, I also we we have a lot of people so far, so I'm gonna wait on that for now. But Mia Yim goes to Money in the Bank. She is going to face Trish Stratus for the women's title. Good shit. Maybe next week we should have two more um, number one contenders tournaments and then it will be a fatal four-way. That might be a good idea. All right. And we're going to play Adam Cole versus AJ Styles. I think I want to play as... I think I want to play as... Yes. 
Adam Cole. Kohler uh, Styles. Kohler Styles. Rhea versus Bianca. That's a good idea. Um, for this match, Adam Cole or AJ Styles, who should I, who should I play as? Adam Cole, baby. Oh, Rona, if you're still here, I'm just thinking back to the uh, to NXT Takeover 25 that we went to. Um, Cole. When we were leaving the building, people were still doing his chant. Like that was nuts. Can you add the hacker on SmackDown? Baby. I'm just doing. I'm just doing Monday Night Raw. I just want to keep it as um, simple as possible. Oh, I forgot. To <laughs> I forgot to take titles off him. That's fine. That is what it is. Whatever. The phenomenal one. He's he's my dude in my universe mode. Him. I have I have quite a few guys in universe mode. Um, in my ruthless aggression. I mine on raw. Dream match. Adam Cole and AJ Styles. This is a dream match too. All right. Tie up. Let's see how much of these controls have changed. The only thing I know that has changed is the reversal. I like this attire, by the way. I was about to do a retro SmackDown, but then I discovered your channel. LOL, I don't want to steal your thunder. <laughs> UV got a great thing going. MOG slightly smiling face. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Um, uh, honestly, if you want to do a, your own SmackDown thing, I, I highly recommend it. It's not a bad idea. For me... Um, so a little backstory as to why I actually did the Ruthless Aggression. If you guys have been on my channel, you guys would know that I did... Oh, look at the pin. Um, I've done a Here Comes the Pain Season Mode remake with AJ Styles. And then I also did Can a you one... Can put the uh, hacker on Raw? Shockwave do AF. I, um, I did a one-off episode on 2K17 with Ruthless Aggression Era. And anything that I've uh, ever uploaded that had to do with something before the PG era has done really well. So I decided to try out uh, my Ruthless Aggression era. And the rest is history. I mean, my... Oh, look at the kick. Oof. AJ, Adam Cole is kicking AJ South's teeth in. Um, and my universe was just kind of taken off from there. And I really do appreciate all the people that have supported that. Because I never thought it would get... I never thought it was, it'd do as well as it has. Last night NXT. I did not watch it. I because there's no crowd, I don't even think I'd be able to sit through it. Not that not that the matches are boring, but I'm I'm the kind of viewer that feeds off from the reaction from the crowd, so if I don't hear a crowd, it's kinda of hard for me to get into it. Shit. Oh look at AJ Styles with the deep arm drag. Oh god. Oh goodness! No, what you... AEW? I don't have cable at my house. I only have, um, so I can only watch like Cron Netflix. Virus. I can only watch Netflix and YouTube and stuff like that, so. Yep. This is back and forth, bro. This is awesome. It is okay, but these shows need crowds. See, and that's, that's my thing too. The, uh, in my opinion, pro wrestling, it. It needs to have a fan base. It need, it loves Chompa the versus Gargano was way too long. It should have been two zero men's tops. They, oh yeah, I, I did see that they had a match, and I heard it was pretty good. Especially NXT and AEW. Yeah, NXT and AEW are those shows that really just feed off the fans. He kicks out at one. Are you joking, bro? It was like four four minutes long. Holy shit! I heard. So, wh what are your guys' thoughts on the Edge versus Randy Orton last man standing match at um, WrestleMania? I I've heard a lot of backlash on. Yep, with commercial breaks. I've heard a lot of backlash on the uh, Edge versus Orton match. I just want to know what your guys' thoughts. It was way too long too. That Edge versus Orton match was long to me too. You guys thought it was long? 
So for me, I mean, probably because I was like, I was half, well, I, I was kind of half asleep when I was watching it because I was in bed, but like, I actually, just because I saw Edge in the rain, I, or I saw Edge competing, I gave it a pass for that. For, on that basis alone, I gave it a pass. I think that my favorite part of the match was the ending. Um, it was mostly huffing and puffing. Edge said people just find anything to complain about but also hate when a match is four minutes long. Yeah, Monday I mean, Night Mesia. Which I mean, I, is two different situations. I mean, I kind of hate Brock Lesnar matches because they're just really short. And I've seen what Brock Lesnar can do. So I feel I always feel like he can do better. <laughs> I mean, that's just me. I don't know. Maybe maybe he's gotten to the point where it's better to just not have him in lawn matches. But you can literally predict a Brock Lesnar championship match. Like, I knew exactly what was going to happen with Drew McIntyre and Lesnar. The only thing I didn't expect was Drew McIntyre to kick out at one of an F5. Boneyard match for the win. Oh, dude. Best match ever. Boneyard match was the best. That and the Firefly Funhouse match. I think throughout the entire entirety of the Firefly Funhouse match, I was just saying, what the hell is going on? Three zero. I mean, that's all I was saying throughout the entirety One zero of the stars. Oh, shit. AJ Styles trying to get back into... Where... Dude, where are you going? It's... Oh, AJ Styles doesn't know what to do. Adam Cole has him on the... On the racks. Come on, Styles. What do you got? Oh, miss me, bitch. <laughs> Damn it. The ladder match was good, too. That was... I enjoyed the Boneyard match. Firefly Few News match and KO versus Seth. The only problem I have is that KO spontaneously got the match restarted. Yeah, no, that was kind of weird. That that Kev, that Kevin Owens called the, for the match to get restarted. I mean, the match itself was really good, but that kind of threw me off. I felt like Rhea Ripley and Charlotte should have had a different ending, personally. Um. Because they were adver like they were building Rhea Ripley as like the fastest rising women star in WWE, and then they have her lose to Charlotte. Corbin yeah. versus Elias was so bad. Yeah, no, I couldn't really get into that. That's when, that was when I realized that maybe I shouldn't be watching WrestleMania without I a crowd. I believe Basler should be still one two. You is one eight because you cuss. Ooh, oh, okay. Right to the face. And Sheena versus Becky. MOG exploding head. Yeah, that shouldn't have ended the way it should have either. I think. So what? And I didn't realize it. I'm, I'm sure everyone else realized it beforehand. I'm sure that. Um, if Vince McMahon did the booking, he did not want the main roster talent to defeat. Or did not want the main roster talent if to Io lose. If Shirai doesn't he beat Flair, the... Shirai would have taken another loss that would hurt her character badly. How can Charlotte Flair really have a bad character, though? She I mean, destroyed she's... five women in a chamber to lose to Becky. Exact. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it kind of makes, and because they, oh shit, um, they, um, they built Shayna to be this absolute beast. And then she loses to a roll-up by Becky. Like, in how long did it take the referee to get into the cover when, um, when, what the hell am I trying to say? By roll-up. Yeah, by roll-up. Like, how long did it take the referee to get into the cover and Charlotte Shayna Kenti just didn't do Io anything? For their title match. I mean, for me, when it comes to Charlotte, her character can't get ruined because she's Ric Flair's daughter. And she already has more title reigns than just about any other woman on the roster. If she not will more. Go. Son of a bitch. Damn it, AJ. What are you doing? The gameplay in this no. in 2K20 is good. Um. Yeah, I... Daddy, I want you to come in my butt. What the fuck? Let's not talk about that. Um. It's ridiculous. Yeah, what but they... that's why when Charlotte won, I won Team Mad cause I expected it. 
laughing, emoji happy tears, emoji rolling on the floor laughing, 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 skipping the rest. It sucks that was probably Taker's last match, emoji crying loudly, emoji crying loudly. Dude, Lol. AJ, AJ just I want you to bust inside of me and fill match. me with your cum. I needed to fulfill me. Why did AJ just fucking win the match? Fucking disqualification. Are you serious, bro? What in the hell is wrong with my chat? This is gonna upset me. Dude, AJ just won that match. I Can't so you had see that who match. even sent that I must be blocked by them? It's not loading my, my chat at all. Me either. Okay. Stupid today or something. Can you make a universe mode with me? Who am I speaking with? What was I just trying to say? With my, the way, my work schedule the way it is, it's hard to actually find time to make universe mode with anybody. It's hard. It, I really want to collaborate with people too. That's the thing, because it can only help both of the people in in doing so. Um, yeah, I can't read the chat, so that sucks. Uh, Shelton versus KO. I kind of feel annoyed that AJ Styles won that match because of a disqualification, but whatever. To see who's going to Money in the Bank. Kevin Owens. You reworking during this time? Stay safe, man. No, right now I'm not. Right now I'm laid off. That's why you guys have seen me going pretty heavy on my um YouTube is because Ruthless Aggression or Attitude Era. That's why you guys have seen me going pretty heavy on my universe mode and my other stuff is because I've actually had time to sit down and record it. Uh but up next we have Shawn Michaels and Triple H DJ Oh good. That is nice in a way, LOL versus DIY. Yeah, no, it's it's been pretty decent. Um it's been hard to not go nuts, but luckily this has kind of helped me out. So right now in terms of let's actually take a second to figure out who's all in the money bank. Uh we have Eddie Guerrero, AJ Styles, and Kevin Owens. They're all going to be in the money in the bank ladder match. And then this Who do is... you want to win? Um I kind of want to see DX versus Brothers of Destruction at the first pay-per-view, to be honest with you. So I'm actually going to play as DX in this match. I got love for DIY, but I want to see, I wanna see um, DX go to the pay-per-view. Let's skip these entrances. <laughs> Rick and Morty. Nice. Boom. Hey, man. Don't judge me. I grew up with DX. I didn't grow up with DIY. <laughs> I know more about DX than I do DIY. Which I feel like most wrestling fans probably know more about those two. But like I, I literally, I problem with like Tommaso and Johnny. They're one of my favorite in-ring performers currently. Two of my favorite in-ring performers. Every match I've seen with them has been fantastic, especially the Gargano and Adam Cole matches. I am going to fill your mouth with my cum and pretend that your mouth is Alexa Bliss mouth. I grew up with HBKHHSDX. Oh shit. Dude, what? He already hit me with that schoolboy. Okay. Chomp a need to get called up. I, bl I don't disagree, but I also fear for Tommaso Chomp if that does happen. From two zero zero nine on. I grew up when um. Who would you rather get a BJ from Alexa Bliss or Charlotte Flair? Why is that even? You eight zero years old. Champa doesn't he want to be called up? I'm not surprised that he doesn't want to be called up. He's. Yeah, he honestly has no reason to get called up. Or should I say demoted? 
Yeah, demoted might be a good word for it. That's why, like, Tommaso Ciampa is one of those guys that deserves to get called up. But I would fear for him if he did, just because you know damn well it's not going to go well. Velveteen Dream needs to get called up. Same thing with Velveteen. Like, WWE would not know how to book someone like that. Oh, suck it. Come on, Tommaso. Suck me, ram me, destroy me, fill me up with cum. Dude, really? Choke me, daddy. Pull my hair and cum in my butt. What the fuck is this? Oh, shit. What about Walter? I don't know, I think Walter's doing just fine in NXT. Um, MOG skull. I think Walter's doing just fine in NXT. Um, so I don't really have any problems with him. I don't know, moving up. It's really pissed me off that I can't see the chat. Do you think Charlotte Flair takes it up the butt and let us Vince fill her mouth with cum? Dude, stop. What about Dunes? Stop, seriously. Done. Oh shit. MOG skull. Dude, that was a nice counter. All right, trip, trips. There we go. Who do you think should get called up? Um. See the. Like, all of them are good enough to get called up. I just fear for anyone that does because it never goes well. Um, I think Keith Lee would be a good one to get called up, to be honest with you. Because I feel like he'd be booked right. And it, he's someone that would always stay entertaining. Um, I don't know. It's it's the same. I don't even think Belair should be even called up. I don't think she should have either, honestly. But yeah. I also... I feel like um, Belair should have gotten a title run before Bianca. she got called up. My problem with having any... Who do you think has the title butthole out of Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, or Bailey? Bailey has a massive butt so she probably takes it. Plus her husband must come in her butt. Give me a second here. I'll be right back. Um, I see who is. LOL. MOG happy tears. I blocked them. LOL He feeling different jerk off to pictures of Alexa Bliss but lol WTF
I don't know what universe mode to do lol. Go away. AEW or NJPW or Retro Smackdown I am going crazy. F. MOG Happy Tears. This guy is honestly really cute, I bet he has a massive pen is and bangs cute boys. No you go away. Ong. Dylan you might need a mod bro, MOG happy tears. The guy commenting sexual things need to leave. Man's running on horny hour. He needs to relax, MOG happy tears. FR. FR 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 The moment of truth, I am looking for an AEW arena let us hope the logos appear knowing 2K20 with 1T, MOG Skull. FRFR. FR in better. I think I got it figured out. I was able to load it up on my computer, so if you see it happening again, then I will I don't know, find a way to take care of it. I've never had that happen before, so I apologize to the people that actually sit and try and yes, to, um, So now I uh, I think I got figured out, so I apologize to people actually trying to sit here and have a genuine conversation with someone that's just playing games, but hopefully we and got it of. figured it out. <sighs> All right. Get back into the match. I've literally never had that happen before, and it's ridiculous that it's even happening. He needs to chill. I, I, it's it's honestly just ridiculous. Oh, DX almost got the win there, but Johnny broke Gee. it up. Get out of here, Johnny. What do you think you're doing? Disrespectful. It, incredible. I mean, it's try to have a try to have a good time. Kind of just ruins it, you know what I mean? Dude, Triple H is in green. Tommaso and Johnny are getting this work. They came in. Tommaso, DIY came in and said, we want to move up the tag ranks. DX was like, uh-uh, I'm sorry, not happening. We got pull around here. You're not going anywhere. You're just going back down to the bottom of the card, big boy. Yeah, let me know if it keeps, if it keeps happening. I'll walk back to the computer. I mean, I have the messages shown up in my Emoji happy tears. 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 I haven't shown up in my. I have it coming up. So. Sadly, this would happen in real life. Oh yeah, you know it. No. What was the first wrestling game you played? 
Mine was WCW versus NWO Revenge on N64. Your dad is mad at you. The first wrestling game I played... It was on the Nintendo 64, I think. I can't remember which one it was. The first... Uh, the first WrestleMania game that I played that I can remember was SmackDown Here Comes the Pain. No, it was SmackDown Just Brain It. I think that was the first one I played that I can remember. Um, what other games do you play? I play a few, quite a few different games. Um, I play Call of, Call of Duty here and there. I'm playing Until Dawn. Over the box. Um, playing Until Dawn currently on the channel. Um, playing Heavy Rain as well. I'll be playing Heavy Rain as well. I'm just trying out a whole bunch of different games just because I didn't realize how many games are out there that can actually be really fun to play. Um, but WWE is kind of my main thing just because I got the universe mode on it. And I've been a huge fan of WWE for a long time. I grew when when I was born I was I was born like ever since I've been born I, I was watching WWE so that's kind of why I'm biased to them because that's just what I've been watching since I was a kid. Woo! Do you know the song The Box? I like Judgment, you should try it out. Would you ever want to wrestle? I actually um, was trying to go to a pro wrestling school in like my local area. Oh, Triple H got in the way, perfect. Um, I was actually on the pro wrestling thing. I actually was in talks with a pro What's wrestling school. What's going on here? I was um, I was in talks with a pro wrestling school about an hour away from me in Johnson City or Binghamton area, um, and I was trying to set up a time to go down and see them. But um, with my work schedule, I couldn't make it happen. And then the virus happened, and they got shut down for now. So I can't do anything at the moment. But yes, I would actually want to try out for pro wrestling. It's been a dream of mine since I was a kid. Look at, the, look at Triple H's face, What dude. is your favorite match type? Favorite match type? That's honestly hard. This virus hit at the wrong time I was going to go start training LOL. Yes, me too. <laughs> it, it seemed to be at uh, the wrong time for... It's any time is the wrong time to for that to show up for something like this to happen but you know it is what it is you gotta just take it day by day um favorite match type that's honestly a hard question to answer just because it's not about the match type itself it's about the people in it um like i've seen one-on-one -on -one matches that i enjoy more than ladder matches and ladder matches are crazy you know all right so we got the we're in the main event i can't believe we're still on the first episode of raw but uh we got the main event the Hardcore Championship match. Who should I play as? Who do I want to see as Hardcore I've even champion? wrestling for almost two years in the Texas E scene. It takes a lot of dedication and discipline. When all this is over, good Luke. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. So, you wrestled I down I wish in... they could still bleed. So, you still wrestle down in the, in Rob. the southern areas? Um... Uh, how, what do you think of it? Is it MOG smiling eyes, MOG thumbs up with medium skin tone. So what what do you think of it? And do you enjoy it? Cuz honestly if I if I, I did pro wrestling, it wouldn't be a Kane. hobby. It wouldn't be a hobby for me. It would be something that I'd I would try and go all in on. Um try and take it as far as I could really. I wouldn't it pro wrestling isn't Buffering. something Pro wrestling isn't really something that you can just do here and there. You have to go all in on it, or there's no point, really. Your truth, MOG happy tears. The West Texas scene sucks, but the Houston bigger cities have good promotions. Oh, they do. Yeah, the um, closest pro wrestling school to me was an hour away. So, I mean, that within itself is difficult. What's up? R-Truth is what's up. R-Truth is what's up. What is up? What is up? 
Van Dam. Dude, that's actually a really good Van Dam call. Happy about that. I think I actually made it. No, wrestling is not a hobby. It has a 247 lifestyle, definitely. Yeah, and if you really want to make any money in the pro wrestling life, in, in pro wrestling I in have general, three near me, don't you know which one to go to? You have what? I hope the Fiend wins. We'll see, I'm going to try to make RVD the first hardcore champion. The inaugural. I'm at Rob. Kane. Odds on favorite to win this match. Oh, I've never seen this. I don't think I've seen this entrance before. But I don't have the music turned on, so it kind of ruins it. You should find a new Jack Caw. A new Jack Caw? I doubt anyone even makes them, man. They're all all make out here making uh, current day superstars. No one cares about new Jack. That dude's been going off on Twitter lately that I've seen. I can't. I don't have music turned on, so it kind of ruined it. Kane and the Fiend starting off. Okay. Let me in. That's actually that'd be a cool, cool match there. Fiend and Kane. We need a hardcore division. No. Yeah, I'm not a new Jack feeling different on Twitter lately. MOG happy tears. Yeah, the definitely. Sandman. Definitely. Later. Definitely feeling different. All power to him. Yeah, no, if in terms of the pro, back to the pro wrestling thing, because I actually really do enjoy talking about that. If I went in and I was able to actually find the time to go do it, I, w I would be going all in on it. You know, I would, um, my goal would be to make it to WWE, honestly. I mean, that would, I know that in, in a day like when is this, new Jack not feeling different? In, in, in days like this, WWE isn't looked at as the pinnacle of sports entertainment, but when you really think about it, they still kind of are. Um, for me personally, I'd still want to go to WWE. Because that, uh, to me, just based on the fact that I grew up when it was just WWE, to me, if you make it to WWE, it's still the only place in town. You know what I mean? It's like the it's the pinnacle Mayo of King. where you could go. It's literally the like the top. MOG horse face, MOG ram, MOG face with head bandage, MOG face with medical mask, MOG nerd face, MOG disappointed face, MOG relieved face, MOG face with steam from nose, MOG confused face, MOG pouting face, MOG pile of poo, MOG happy tears, MOG hushed face, MOG sleepy, MOG tired, skipping the rest. They definitely are the main source I like AEW, but my dream would be to wrestle for NJPW. Mayor Kane. To make it to any of the big companies really is, it's an achievement no matter what, just to get into the business and make it to any of the major companies. But WWE has always been looked at as a pinnacle. I mean, and that's, that's honestly just the truth behind it. it I'm not saying that WWE is the best out there because they're they're definitely not. Um, CZW. It's just the that's what's looked at as that's when people say I've made it that's what they're looking at. You know what I mean? I mean maybe now AEW can actually s are gonna step up and be one of those companies that people look at that way. And I mean New Japan still looked at that way. But when it comes to the pinnacle of sports and pro wrestling, there's not a whole lot of competition for honestly I'm just hoping that AEW doesn't become like TNA was TNA went on a hot streak for a while and then now it's would you be a high flyer cruiser weight would you be a high flyer cruiser weight um I don't think I'd want to be either I mean my my character my ideal character would be an all-around kind of character like I can I think um, because I'm kind of like that in real life I I have the strength I have uh, the quickness um, and I'd be willing to take risks so I'd kind of be 
Like a, a I'd be a balanced character, I guess is what the term I would be. I am not that flexible. MOG happy tears. Hey man. What whatever. would be your gimmick? I'd just be a guy that comes in, fucks everyone up, and takes liberties. <laughs> That'd be my thing. No, I mean WWE nowadays too. I mean this is, that's not that pro wrestling nowadays isn't just becoming about gimmicks anymore. Um, a lot of it is just the people. I mean the super the the wrestlers have their character. Emoji the, happy tears. Emoji happy tears. Emoji happy tears. He said, "Take the W hitting the pay window." Lying prior next. Emoji chicken. Emoji chicken. Emoji hatching chick. Emoji front facing baby chick. Emoji bird. Emoji rabbit face. Emoji rat. Emoji rat. Emoji chip. Skipping the rest. AEW is good on gimmicks. Haha. -ha. I definitely don't have anything against AEW. I like. And that's the thing, I don't want anyone to think that I, I'm just not a fan of AEW, because I am. Um, I think what they're doing is great. I just hope that it doesn't die out like TNA did. Although TNA was a great stomping grounds for a lot of incredible talent. I haven't figured my gimmick per se to go in depth of my character, but I got a baseline for it. What is it? I am liking Brody Lee. He definitely needed to change companies. Um, it was it sucked to see him go because he was MOG really good. Bowling, MOG flag and hole. MOG person golfing. MOG fishing pole. MOG running shirt. MOG skis. Dude, stop with the, the emojis! Rest. Jesus Christ! The exalted one. Um. Yeah, no, Brody. Uh, Luke Harper definitely had to leave WWE. He just. It sucks, but I think it was best in his interest and in the company's interest to just let him leave. He definitely needed it. Like a lot of the people that have gone to AEW, they just needed it. Oh shit, dude. Robbie and Dam's getting... I'm talking too much, I'm getting my teeth kicked in. Ooh, we got a signature. No, Bray. WW might lose more talent like Revival. They uh, stay home for two you take out in the zone years. I'm honestly surprised they haven't already lost their, um, more talent. I think it's a contractual clause that they have to obligate by. And honestly, a lot of them might actually just be there because that's they, they got good money. They, they don't have a problem with where they're at. My character would be have a presence like Sting or Jake the Snake Roberts. MOG bowling, MOG flag and hole, MOG flag and hole, MOG person golfing, MOG person golfing, MOG fishing pole. And carry. Dude, I'm trying to hit my signature. Damn it, Bray! I can't hit my shit. I can't get my shit in. MOG bowling, MOG flag and hole, MOG person golfing, MOG fishing pole, MOG running shirt. Get the hell out of here, bro. Fiend's gonna be the first person I eliminate. It, stay home, virtual you, MOG bowling, MOG flag and hole, MOG person biking, MOG person golfing, MOG fishing pole. Count it! What hey. would be your finisher? checking something I think I need to learn how to actually wrestle before I MOG figure out what bowling, would be. MOG flag and hole MOG flag and hole MOG dog face MOG unicorn face MOG poodle Ray's gonna haunt you now lol eh, it's fine
Uh oh, Alistair Black gonna get eliminated. No, we still got five people, four people other than myself left. Not our troop. MOG monkey face, MOG sleepy, MOG tired face, MOG tired face, MOG confused face. Oh shit, one for the flipping sun jumping sun time. I missed again, god. Damn it, this game is crazy. It's hard to see what you're doing when there's a shit ton of other people in the ring. Oh, look at RVD. Or Stone Cold. MOG hushed face, MOG hushed face, MOG sleepy, MOG sleepy, MOG sleepy, MOG tired face, MOG confused face, MOG relieved right. face, MOG right, relieved face, MOG relieved face, MOG nerd face. Go away. No emojis. Hmm. MOG hushed face, MOG sleepy, MOG sleepy, MOG sleepy, MOG sleeping, MOG relieved face. Unnecessary trolling. Dang, I am just trying to watch my boy play the game. This is nonsense. Disrespectful. Sorry about that. This is getting crazy, man. Like, this is the first time this has ever happened. I'm sorry that you guys have to deal with it. Um, Shockwave, I saw that you're still watching. Um, if you're okay with it, if you could kind of moderate everything. I, I think I added you as moderator. I don't, I don't necessarily know how it works, but if you could just keep an eye on it, man. I, I'd really appreciate it. I'm sorry about that. I, just don't, I don't get why people can't just, I don't know, not be annoyed. <laughs> I don't get what's so hard about that. I just want to watch my boy to play the game. How did Kane sit out of the Rolling Thunder and he sat up? Oh, Alistair Black's getting eliminated by our truth boy. What? I think you click on someone's name to make them a mod. Yeah, I I think oh, I, I am a mod. MOG hushed face. I think I made um. Kane is super dark. LOL. That's a Thanks. custom. MOG that, happy tears. That's a that's a custom attire. Yeah, I made that attire because that's that's his attire in my universe mode, so that's why it, it's like that. You're not hitting the twist of fate, Jeff. I don't know what you think you're doing, but you're not. Kane, can you let me get my shit in, please? Can you leave me alone? Miss me, bitch. Whoop. Oh, we're gonna hit him with it. We're gonna hit him with it again, Rolling Thunder. How do you climb to the top? Oh, here we go. Damn it, our truth, you son of a bitch. Kane is trying to job you out. Fuck it! Oh, shit! I really wanted the frog splash on Kane, but that is so much better. We just dove halfway across the ring. God damn. That was nuts. How do you do a... What button is it on PS4 to do the uh, roll-up? 
I have no idea what... Oh, I still have finishers. God damn it. Why am I not using them? What are you doing, Noah? I got two finishers. Oh, shit. You want to you tag team him? I'm going to get double... double. No? Okay. Jeff says fuck you both. Hopefully now it'll be a little quiet in here. Oh, our truth getting eliminated. He does. It's down to two of the very best. Two of my favorite high flyers. Oh shit. Although Jeff Hardy doesn't do much high flying anymore. Neither does Rob Van Dam, I would come to think of it. We still got the resiliency though, so we're still good if he hits a finisher on us. We still going to money in the bank. Um, I guess that's up to y'all, because I didn't expect this to go on as long as it did. I mean, we can um, just do... We can go to money in the bank next time. Uh, it's kind of up to you. Like I said, I didn't expect this much to happen. MOG thinking face. God damn it, Jeff. Okay. Set this man. Damn it, Jeff Hardy! You bastard! RVD new hardcore champ. Maybe. I don't know. Jeff is kicking my ass. Jeff refuses to quit. MOG face with cold sweat. MOG face with cold sweat. MOG worried face. What am I doing? Oh! Okay, we got the diving kick. I don't get why that happened. But RVD's out. Can we... Hit the frog splash from... Damn it, Jeff Hardy. I want, I'm trying to get a cool finish, Jeff. We gotta set up the spot. Can we actually hit the frog splash from the top is my question. I feel like we should be able to, but I also feel like this isn't Here Comes the Pain. Jeff Hardy, what the fuck is your problem? Woo! Okay, that's even better. Big cross We should just go to money in the bank next time. Yeah, I'm thinking that's a better idea too, honestly, just because of everything that's been going on. And we had to do the whole universe mode setup too, so we couldn't actually just get right into it. I didn't expect it to take as long as it did, so I do apologize. It is up to you. By God, crossbody. Dude, Jeff is ridiculous. He, I crossbody him from the top of the pot, and he still reverses my finisher. Still ends up kicking my ass. Jeff Hardy is going crazy here. Oh, Jeff's looking for it. He's feeling different. Oh, we did we get the knees up? No. We got the knees up. Fucking A. Dude, Jeff is feeling this different. This man is Brother Nero. Yeah, no, this isn't Jeff Hardy. This is Brother Nero. You are absolutely correct. Get your ass back in the ring, Jeff. I can't climb to the top from there. Are you kidding me? Dude, Jeff is the GOAT. He's going to be the thumbnail for this video. Jeff Hardy's the GOAT. What the fuck? Dude, would you die? What? <laughs> Hardy with the Swanton, but RVD blocks it. Delete, delete, delete. Oh my god. Jeff is going crazy. Jeff was the first guy I gravitated to as a kid. Uh, same here, actually. Jeff, are you gonna let me hit... Can I hit the frog splash now, please? Can I hit the frog splash? Thank you! Frog Splash! Perfect! You love to see it. Rob Van Dam. Team Extreme. That is why I like Darby Allen so much, too. God damn it! Jeffy! Second Frog Splash. I didn't go for the pin, did I? No. Perfect. Because we got three finishers. We're hitting three Frog Splashes. I don't care no more. Three five-star frog splashes to Jeff Hardy in a row. 
Don't kick out. Splash for the two. What the fuck? I like Cody. Dude, what? Rip. I am R uh, Rob Van Dam. Jeff, what are you doing? I really don't know how he's doing it, but Jeff is going crazy. Oh, we're gonna drop the face first on the turnbuckle. Good, he's busted open. Maybe he'll stop. What am I doing? Are we about to Shane McMahon this bitch? So resilient. We're about to Shane McMahon. Yeah, this is World Heavyweight Champion Jeff Hardy right here. Oh shoot! I think that could put him away. Who the hell am I kidding? That probably can't put him away. MOG money with wings. MOG money with wings. MOG money with wings. MOG money with wings. Coast to coast. Damn it. Three frog splashes. Jeff Hardy kicks out. My oh my. Jeff is running on coke right now. All you to turn buckle. Jeff Hardy is busted open. Money, money, money. Here we go again. All right, Jeff. I see you don't have resiliency. You're toast. Your body is dark red health. I mean, you're going to be injured. is the MOG goat. I mean, agree to disagree. There we go. Come on, this has got to be it. This has to be it. Jeff Hardy is the goat here tonight. Booyah! New hardcore champ. Bam. W. Finally got it. Dude, that match was insane. Finally. I almost feel bad that you guys had to watch that. <laughs> All that for the hardcore championship. Hell yeah. Alright, so what we'll probably do... We'll One plan... Zero stars. We'll plan out the um, next Raw... We'll plan out the next episode of Raw, and then that's where we'll end it. We won't go into it, but we'll at least get it started. That way, we'll, once we start the stream again, we can just hop right back into it. Um, so let me go to the shows here, edit the championship, so I can add Rob Van Dam in there. Got our first champion on Universe Mode, ladies and gentlemen. It's the hardcore title. Nice. Subbed. Thank you. I really do appreciate the, the sub. Helps me. Helps everybody. Alright, so let's plan out this next episode of Raw before we um, take off, and then we'll go from there. Sounds like a plan. This was great. Besides the annoying stuff, can't he wait till next time? Thank you. I appreciate uh, your feedback. Um, yeah, I really do apologize about all that. I did not mean for any of that to happen. Never expected it to happen. I thought I had a pretty good group of people here, but I guess it just goes to show that you never know what can happen. Um, so let's see. We said we were going to do, what was it, Bianca versus someone else to see who will go to Money in the Bank for the women's title. We had to have three more Money in the Bank qualifiers, and we had to have one more tag team tournament qualifier. And then we had to have the hardcore title, too. So let's, let's, who, I think on the next episode, Rob Van Dam should face Jeff Hardy for the hardcore title, just because Jeff Hardy put up that, hell, that much of a fight. Rhea versus Bianca. Okay, so Rhea versus Bianca. And then putting up more contender on that one. What do you guys think? Do you think Jeff Hardy should defend, or Rob Van Dam should defend the hardcore title against um against Jeff Hardy? I think that'd be a good idea. Let's actually get this start a new thing. Hardy versus RVD Extreme Rules. Where's Rhea? Okay, so Rhea Ripley. Versus Bianca. Book the title match. Ladder match defense. Alright. 
So we had DX versus DIY, DX won that, so we have to have the Brothers of Destruction. Ladder. I'm trying to edit the matches here. Okay. Um, let's do the tag team tournament match. For that, we have to do Brothers of Destruction. And Jeff's going to be in a match, so I guess we'll just do the Usos then. So we got Kane. Bros of Death versus USOS. And then we got Jay Uso and Jimmy. Okay, so that'll be. Jeff what? versus RVD Ladder. You guys want a ladder match? Tag tournament. We got RVD versus Hardy versus Jeff Hardy. That'll be a ladder match. I'm just kind of writing these down too, just so I don't forget. So I know what's prepared for. Ladder me. match sounds nice. Ladder or TLC? Oh, uh, I kind of like the idea of a TLC. That way we can have uh, tables. I like me some tables. That's going to main event. Matches like that have to main event. Okay. So what do you guys think? Do you think the women's championship match should be a triple threat or a fatal four-way at uh, Money in the Bank? Because if we do triple threat, then we don't need to do num another number one contenders match. If we do fatal four-way, then we need another one. Title match. Uh, fudge. We go to custom superstars. Black versus Murphy mid qualifier. Did I also, okay, I also Triple right. threat, keep it simple. MOG happy tears. Rob Van Dam. Let's get Jeff Hardy in the mix here. Championship, hardcore title. And I'm going to edit some attires, I think, too. Like off stream. Because Candice LeRae is going to be with. The Brothers of Destruction for some reason. I don't get that, but okay. I need to stay, stop going to that. Um, okay, so we'll just do a triple threat for the women's title then. That's fine. So RD versus Jeff Hardy, TLC. Rhea versus Bianca, no more contenders. Brothers of Destruction versus the Usos. And then you said you wanted to see um, Aleister Black versus someone in the Money in the Bank qualifier. MOG thumbs up with medium skin tone. Black versus Matt Hardy money in the bank qualifier. Oh, that's a that's a good freaking match right there. Murphy. Murphy too. Um. Kane stealing Gargano's girl. LOL. Yeah, Kane's the boy. He's got the mayor status now. He can have whoever he wants. Uh, let's do Buddy Murphy. Just because that. They always they always delivered in real life, so we'll do that. Black versus Murphy. Money in the bank. So that makes one, two, three. So that's four money in the bank qualifiers. We'll need two more. <coughs> I keep doing that, and I don't know why. I'm trying to stay in the edit matches, and I keep leaving for some reason. Okay. Hardy versus Van Dam, Black versus Murphy. Don't forget, we still have the Intercontinental title and the um, the World Heavyweight title, too. We Perfect. need to start building the Intercontinental matches. Yes, how should we do that? For the PPV. How do you think we should do that? Maybe better. Huh? Hmm. We could do. We could have like two battle royals. One on this episode of Raw. One on the next episode. And the winners of those battle royals will fight for the Intercontinental title. As long as they don't have... 
match at the pay-per-view. And it's difficult. Damn, I am settling on a retro SmackDown. It has probably gonna be good cause I am already excited. That's when you know it's gonna be good is when you're excited about it. My best uh, universe mode episodes are when I'm excited about the, the episodes themselves. Yes. All right. So we got RVD and Hardy in a TLC match. Hardcore title. Rhea versus Bianca. Number one contender. We're going to have... We're, we'll do a battle royal. Let's do that. Um, I built universe other day then. Should we do six-man battle? Battle royale. Should, what kind of battle royal? Should we do six man battle royal? That way we it's not overset. It's there's not a shit ton of people. Accidentally deleted was fuming. <laughs> That'll happen. MOG slightly smiling face. Six man. Six man battle royal. So we'll do one on this episode round, then one on the next one. And then those two winners will face each other. Try tournament. The tournament you can't like they all have to be done in one. Shelton so. in the battle royal. Shelton in the battle royal. Okay. The the problem with trying to do a tournament is that you have like it, it, it would all be on one show, so it wouldn't really you wouldn't be able to do it week to week, and we only have two other weeks left, so it wouldn't really work. So we got Shelton. Um, About six men, so. Well, not tournament, but like single matches, so to speak. Yeah, but the problem with that is that we only have two weeks. So, and we're still trying to do Money in the Bank and the World Heavyweight title, too. So we can do... I'm just trying to think here. Uh, we can do Shelton... True. Wanna give R Truth another opportunity? He had a strong showing. Uh, okay. Matt Hardy. I wanna make my universe fun. Definitely have to make it fun, or else you're not gonna like it. That's why I brought in guys like Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, and Dean Ambrose uh, not Dean Ambrose, Daniel Bryan into mine is because I wanted superstars that I could still have fun with. I, I wanted it to be my universe mode, not just a universe mode. And that's kinda what it's all about. All right, so we got Matt, Shelton, R-Truth. Um, I think Cesaro should be in it. Let's do... Who else do we got on the roster here? I don't know what I'm trying to guess. I have the list in front of me. Mm. Adam Cole. I see, is it? Yes, this is the Intercontinental. Yes. How about those guys that lost the the guys that I see it is the the last the guys that lost the money in the bank qualifiers can go head to head or can be a part of the battle royal. So that would mean Eddie Guerrero and Adam Cole could be our last two guys. Eddie Guerrero. Keith Lee. How many brands do you use? For this universe? Orton 0203 or Christian or something. Um, For this universe mode, I'm just using um, Monday Night Raw. But for my Ruthless Aggressionary universe mode, I'm using Raw and SmackDown. Eddie. Matt. Shelton. Truth. That way I know who is a part of it. Cesaro and Cole. Okay. Careful not to delete. Keith Lee should get a money in the bank spot. 
He's got to have a match. I could put Keith Lee in a Keith Lee can have a Money in the Bank match. Yeah, let's do Keith Lee. That's not, I don't have a problem with that. He's one of my favorite guys right now. Alright. Question is, who do we have left for him to face? <laughs> That's the other problem. Okay. Um, let's get this one. Customize match. Nope, not customize participants. I need to change the whole match. Why does it always do that? It goes straight to the... Now I realize it wasn't me, it was the game. Let's do normal match. You don't use cause in your universe. I do. Keith Lee versus McIntyre? Maybe, maybe. Keith Lee versus Champa. Kane is isn't he a cause? No, he is a created attire. I mean, I guess that's it's not really a call. I wouldn't say Kane went. Kane is RVD is a created superstar. Um, who should we have Keith Lee face? Money in the Bank qualifier. So far, the people that are going to the Money in the Bank are... Oh, Eddie Guerrero's going to the Money in the Bank match. Oh, shoot. So we need to change that match. Need to put Finn in there instead. Do you have Dream? I don't have Dream on this one, no. Random. Cole versus Styles. So, so far in the Money in the Bank match, we have Eddie Guerrero, AJ Styles... Kevin Owens. Then it'll either be Alistair Black or Murphy. Let's do Keith Lee versus Oh man, this is difficult. Keith Lee versus Kurt Angle. That's a good plan. Drew Gulak in place of Fetty in Battle Royal? No, because I, I like having Eddie Guerrero. Keith Lee versus Kurt Angle. Okay. Kurt Angle. Real question is, yes. I'll get to be in my universe mode, MOG Skull. He's in mine. I mean, it's really your personal preference whether you want him there, I guess. It is true, it is damn true. Okay, so we have Rhea Ripley versus Bianca Belair. Winner gets added to the... Women's title match at Money in the Bank. Uh, Brothers of Destruction versus the Usos in the tag title tournament. Got to fix because I screwed up. Yes, I did screw up. Okay, just double checking. I see title. Let me put that there too. Jericho. Finn Balor. I've won mid twice in my universe mode and I can't. Matt Hardy. Shelton. Cash in. Y2J. Chris Jericho's not in this game. Our truth. Cesaro and Cole. Y2J instead of truth. Any decent Devlin caught? 
Come I haven't. On. I haven't actually looked. I try to stay off community creations because it's just not good. I'll play around with the rosters a little bit more um, off stream, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix. I'm gonna add some attires as well. Try and make it look a little more appealing. Um, and I'm gonna. What edit about them. Velveteen Dream? He's not in this uh, universe mode. At least not right now. Like cool. I said, we're 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 keeping it pretty bare bones as of right now, and then we're gonna kind of add more people in as we go. But this is the card that we got for the next episode of Raw. Rhea Ripley versus Bianca Belair. Winner goes to the Money in the Bank match. Uh, not goes to the women's title Walter match at Money Ka in the Bank. Off stream. Undertaker and Kane versus the Usos to go into Gold the tag. Gold standard. Balor, Benjamin, Adam Cole, Matt Hardy, Archers, and Cesaro are in a battle royal to see who's going to go to fight for the Intercontinental title. Keith Lee versus Kurt Angle. That's a Money in the Bank qualifier. Trish Stratus versus Lita. It's just a random match, fluff match. Alice, Alistair Black and Buddy Murphy. That is a Money in the Bank qualifier as well. And then Jeff Hardy versus Rob Van Dam in the main event for the hardcore title in a TLC match. Sound good to you guys? It is a good card. Definitely. It's better than any other Raw card we see nowadays. <laughs> um, so... I'm going to just chill out here for just a few minutes. Um, Stacked and, card. Um, if you guys have any questions before I go. And it has just a raw emoji happy tears. If you guys have any questions before I go, Win feel that. free to, to let me know. See. I'm, I'm going to hang out for a few minutes. so Just kind of get rid of these guys here. But I thank you guys all for, um, uh, for stopping by. Um, sorry that you guys had to deal with all the other stuff earlier in the stream. Um, and, uh, not sure when I'm going to stream again. It might be, because tomorrow I'm Emoji doing... happy tears. Why does it do the emojis so weird? When is the next stream? So that's actually the question. I'm not sure when that's going to be. Um, because I'm, I'm uploading Taboo Tuesday tomorrow, so keep your, keep your eyes out for that. And then... I got un so I have until dawn on Saturday is when the next episode of that comes out. So maybe I'll stream on s like Saturday night around the same time, might be the plan. If that sounds good to you guys, I definitely don't want to upload this universe mode on the same nights that I do my ruthless aggression universe mode though. Just because I kind of want that to get as much attention as it as it already does, if not more. Sounds good, bro. All right, well, sounds good to me. Hope everything sounds good to you guys. I wanted to thank you guys for yes. stopping by. Um, I really do appreciate you guys coming in today and watching me play video games. Going to start working on my universe already. I RAM. do appreciate it. Um, if you guys haven't already, be sure to hit the hit that like button before you guys go. And subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already for more. But, Stay uh, safe. Take care, bro. MOG victory hand with medium skin tone. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um. But until the next stream, just keep plugging away. Take it day by day, guys. Uh, we're in a, a messed up situation right now in the world, but we just got to do what we can to, to make it through. But uh, thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you all next time. Thank Peace. you. You're a young goat.